Greetings world. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us. Bill 206 preventing the promotion of hate amendment act will be introduced by the NDP. This bill would give the provincial government more action to stop hate groups from obtaining legal status. When deciding whether to grant registration, the bill would give the Registrar of Alberta Societies within Service Alberta power to look at whether a group has a lawful purpose. Bill 206 will ensure organizations that exist solely to promote hate, such as white supremacy groups will not be granted status as Alberta societies. If passed the bill will also prevent new hate groups that may seek greater legitimacy from being incorporated under the Societies Act. The bill will amend the Societies Act by making a lawful purpose a requirement of society status in Alberta. Groups will not be able to register if their stated purpose is illegal. This would include advocating or promoting violence or genocide that falls under federal hate speech laws and it will require directors of a society to ensure that the activities of a society continue to be lawful. This would help to prevent organizations from stating a benign purpose and then engaging in hateful or violent activities anyway. Only groups that promote hate against a person or class or persons as a core principle of their organization or engage in activities that break federal hate speech laws will be affected. It doesn't allow them to accumulate wealth. Because as a society they can own property. They can inherit property. These types of things. Organizations in Alberta are not required to register as a society but doing so allows it to own property and enter into contracts under the society's name instead of in the name of individual members. Individual members can also not be held liable for a registered society's debts. The intent is not to review the activities of the roughly 50,000 existing registered societies but provisions in the private members bill that require society directors to ensure activities remain lawful could be used to deregister a group if illegal activities come to light. The bill is modeled after provisions that already exist in British Columbia's legislation and there should be no effect on any other organizations. People might rally this saying it is limiting free speech or that it might impact religious groups. But the NDP doesn't think that is the case by saying as long as it's a lawful purpose it should be fine. This bill is similar to the one just passed in America called the Protect and Serve Act. Harming a police officer is already a crime under federal law and all 50 states have laws that enhance penalties for doing so. But this new bill modeled after a federal hate crime statute would make it a crime to intentionally target a law enforcement officer based on his actual or perceived status as one. Its goal is to protect law enforcement officers from ambushes and violence for simply being a police officer. But opponents of the bill say it effectively designates any violence against officers a federal hate crime and perpetuates a false narrative of a war on police. The Protect and Serve Act of 2018 makes it clear that no criminal will be able to escape justice when he singles out and assaults those who put on the badge every day to keep everyone safe. The bill's sponsors cite a Department of Justice report on police ambushes, which shows a downward trend through the 90s and 20s until the late 2000s and early 2010s when the numbers trended slightly higher according to the report. There is a serious and growing trend of armed attacks on law enforcement officers. America has long been fighting to establish stricter penalties for those who harm or target law enforcement officers. They strongly believe that increased penalties make important differences in the attitudes of criminals toward public safety officers and ensure protection for the community. Two versions of the bill were introduced. 
Each includes a maximum sentence of 10 years for causing serious bodily injury and a potential life sentence for killing or trying to kill an officer. The Senate version includes the specific provision that makes it a crime to knowingly cause bodily injury or attempt to do so because of the actual or perceived status of the person as a law enforcement officer. The bill wrongly extends hate crimes protections to a group that does not need them because they are not vulnerable to bias or discrimination in the same manner as people of color and other historically marginalized communities. And it is superfluous in light of existing federal and state laws. Hate crime protections are intended to aid prosecution of crimes that are historically undercharged and are typically enacted when law enforcement or prosecutors lack the will, capacity, or legal remedies to prosecute offenses committed against certain individuals or groups. We are anonymous. We do not forgive. We do not forget. Expect us.